I'm Katrina, and this is Sew and Tear. Today, we're going to show how to sew hardware cloth. So, when you have half inch by half inch, and this is just the wire that came on the roll, you bend it in, and secure yourself a first starting point. We're just sewing two, two pieces of hardware cloth together. They come in either two or three foot rolls depending on where you get it from. Then, on the other side, this is a, this wire is way too long, but on the other side, what you can do is make another hook and put it through, put the, this part through. And you can either do it right there, or you can just pull it through, widen it a little bit, so you can go further. And so if you have a half inch, you c it's really easy to do one person. One thing you do is to hold this, and you'll see when I get to the, to the end of it. See how it curled up right there? We wanna make sure that it doesn't kink, so you just prevent it from kinking by holding it. See, did it again. If you weren't holding it, then it would kink pretty easily on you there. Or guiding it, I guess. And again, I don't need this to be this long. You could cut it to what you think you need. Always cut it a little longer. But this is my process if I'm doing this by myself. You saw earlier, if you have fourth inch, it really is a two person job if you, or it's, it's helpful to have two people. Hi Zadie. Again, pull it through and you can just widen this, push it back in, and it'll come out a few squares later. Now I've tried two different techniques on this. One is to go straight through, like you can see I'm following the same squares. I like that best because I can pull it the tightest. And another one is to kind of zigzag and um, that one works better if your squares don't line up, but I prefer this way. And if your squares don't line up, always go a square after. It's like these, these ones, these ones don't perfectly line up. Sorry, it's sideways. Um, so I'm going a square after, so that way when I pull it this way, it will not kink. It will keep going. And I don't have a good place to put this. There we go. And again, we have this big mass. If we don't hold it, you'll get kinks all over the place. And once you have a kink in this wire, it's very hard to get out. Like, it keeps stopping whenever you, when you, you do further, further runs. So like this is a little farther away um, from each other. So that would be good to have a partner on the inside um, pull it out. But you can stick this wire in pretty far and not, not need another person um, to help you with that. Well, 
but because it's far, I need to have a longer hook. Now this is also nice to note that if you have a structure that you're building around, you don't want to generally um, build just to the structure, but we are using it. But I also know that I can just take these off, un unsew this, and it will be easy to remove the whole hutch if I need to do that. I'm not expecting to though. You can skip like four, I think I do about four um, squares when I thread this. It doesn't have to be perfect, just good enough for the mice and the rats not to not come in. One more, once more through, I think we'll have this done. One more pull, and I'm actually going to cut this, and the nippers work really well. And I'm going to cut it out here so that I can tie it off. Now what tying off looks like to me is rounding around once. couple times and it's pretty well pretty well secured just with that you could twist it you can do whatever but this is inside and nothing's gonna get that from the outside so enjoy putting your hardware cloth together